I'm Cecilia. I'm Rayla. Can and I here? Yes, we are juniors from York High School. Bill Clinton! And this is our poem, I am a talented sex symbol. I am talented. I am smart. Or at least I tell myself these things. I tell myself these things as an attempt to try and vanquish those dark inner thoughts about me being more than a sex symbol. But what if it's true? What if I am a sex symbol? If I am a sex symbol, then all of my work has been for nothing. I worked so hard to get myself here, but this isn't even the place I wanted to be. And this isn't who I wanted to be. When I dreamed of becoming an artist, I dreamed of being loved for my talent, not the body behind the picture. When you type my name into a computer, you'll find old photos of me from when I was a child, when I was a child in my bikini. Someone dug up and was excited to exploit. Because of this, I can't help but wonder, do I have the success because of my talent or because of my hourglass figure? I always thought that sex symbol chose to be perceived that way, but now I know the truth. Not only did I not get to choose my genetics, but also I was unaware that people would dig up photos of a half-naked teenage girl and exploit an innocent. I now understand the great sex symbols that came before me. They, like me, just wanted to be great at something and instead got lucky on account of their curves or in some cases, lack, lack thereof. Despite being a pronounced, pronounced sex symbol, I will not let that defeat me, for I have so much more to accomplish. I simply must find a way to work around that label, or perhaps even defeat it. I am talented. I am smart. And I refuse to call myself a sex symbol. 